how are you? Kirk Taylor, everyone. Uh, I met you in 2015, and you won Best Middle School Song when you were 13 years old. I wish we had the video to show that Coach Mack did with you, and y'all were standing in front of the colonial flag in your, your, um, your school uniforms. I still love that clip, the entry, the entry that you sent in. Um, you were 13, and then, uh, and boy, we did a lot of fun things, which we'll talk about. I mean, um, you, you went on yeah. the trip to Tennessee. We're going to show this crazy. clip. Huh? It was crazy. Yeah, everything was just like, it was insane, yeah. life-changing. Well, you went, I'll, I'll give the blow down here, and then you can talk. Um, you went on the trip. And we re-recorded your song, which is fantastic. It's a rap song with, with two other young men. And uh, you did a video that we show all the time um, where y'all talk. We're going to show it today. Joe Scaife, once again, Billy Ray Cyrus, Achy Breaky Heart, was your judge. Um, but your mentor was Laurie White, the Grammy Award winning Laura, uh, Laurie White. And she, y'all spent time re-recording -re in her studio and uh, you, gosh, you performed on Good Morning Texas and then at, at, you were live and for July 4th. We spent July 4th together and you were down in Tomball, Texas for that kind of state fair type of experience. And uh, you've been in Washington, D.C. to perform at the Department of Education. You're from Dallas, Texas. You, uh, you were 13 years old, 14 when you won. You are 19 now. And you uh, are in college in Boston, Massachusetts. If you want to say where you go to college, I'll leave it up to you. And uh, you just returned from studying abroad in Spain, but you are majoring in music, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yeah. What's your exact uh, major? Well, I, I go to the Berkeley College of Music, um, and that's been my dream school since I was a baby. And um, now I, I make music. Um, I haven't declared a major yet because I'm just the first year but I'm thinking about either doing performance or songwriting because I've written songs since even before the competition. And um, everything, everything that Constituted America has given me has just been like propelling of like my career and just my mindset. Like aside from like all the things that like everybody has spoken about today, I gained just like an opportunity to understand myself as a person and as an artist. I got studio time for the first time in my life through constituting America. So now I understand studios and I can actually self-produce now, which is like something that Laurie White gave me, just like a insight on understanding how to mix things and how to work with musicians and how to like work in a studio set. And then in addition, like just the shield of like knowledge, like through knowing the constitution, you just know like the things that you're entitled to as a person and the things that like, I don't know, the things that you're allowed. Um, the things that the government is allowed, you know, in in terms of where you are as a person and who you are as a person and the things that you're entitled to. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. Well, and you, yeah. uh, you uh, so much is running through my mind because we've known each other for so long. Um, right. Uh, and you also, you also won the scholarship in my father's name. Yes, ma'am. I did. That was yeah. crazy. The turnover, that was so fun um, it, it, to present that to you because I've known you for so long. I've known you since you were in middle school. So when you were a senior in high school, we have a scholarship that's in the name of my father, Turner Marie Scant Jr. Ex Exemplary Citizen Award. And um, we've only had about four or five winners so far. He passed in 2014, so this is it's his name. And my father, you know, I, my father was this exceptional man in my book. I'm his daughter, right? But he was a great, uh, he, he was an intellect and a great citizen and leader of his class and an athlete. And he was from Athens, Texas, and then he was plucked up to attend West Point Military Academy and then became one of the first, back then West Point Military Academy was uh, Air Force or Army. And he was one of the first to fly twice the speed of sound in the 1960s. So it's uh, whoever receives this award is an exceptional human being, in my opinion, because this is a category that where I get to choose and uh, who I want to win that year. And there was no choice. It had to be you the year that you won it. And um, 
it was fun because I Skyped into your school and you didn't know, did you? I had no clue. And everybody was like, you got to be there. You got to sit in the front row. And I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> but yeah, I had no clue. And then <laughs> to find out was crazy. And it's a great scholarship for $4,000. It's like 4300 or something and like that, that. So that covered the gap that I had. Yeah. It was the reason I was in Spain this last year. Oh, well, look at that. Well, my dad is very happy about that. Um, and to, to go back, I met you as a teenager at the Barack Obama Male Leadership Academy. That's where I met you in Dallas. And you graduated from there. So you were there. You're, you're the two young men that were with you in this video. They moved off to other schools, I think. But you stayed. You were there all five years. Well, five years. I know. How many years were you at the Barack Obama Male Leadership Academy? I was there from sixth grade to 12th grade, which is seven years, I think. Yeah, seven years. <laughs> well, you, it's a great school. I always brag on that school. And, you know, the first time I arrived there, you're all in your suits and you walk up and you shake. If I walk by a door, someone shakes my hand and uh, says, welcome to the school. You, you were great ambassadors. It's, it's just really, look, they, they uh, had a great student like you. So, well, we're gonna show your clip from your trip to Tennessee. Um, okay. This is where we re-recorded your song and we recorded your video, your music video, and it's all at constitutingamerica.org. This clip that we're showing is sort of a little behind the scenes documentary where we followed y'all around. And we show it all the time. So once again, you're just, yeah, we may not see each other face to face, but I'm seeing you all the time because I'm always playing this clip. <laughs> and, um, so we'll start with this clip and come back and have a few more, a, few more, a little bit more of a chat. I'm Jonathan Fraser, I'm 15, I won Best Song for Constituting America. Hi, I'm Kettle Thomas, I'm 15, also won Best Song for Constituting America with these guys. Uh, I'm Kirk Taylor, I'm 15, and uh, I was also one of the winners. When we first met Juliet and Janine, they came to our classroom during sixth period. I was like, that sounds good, we can do that. And then she said something about some money. And I was like, yeah, we gonna do that for sure. So then I had, I have seventh period with Kirk Taylor, so. You know, seventh period, I was like, bro, I need you to sing for me. He was like, oh, okay. He didn't know what we were singing for. And then I went to Caleb during passing period, and I was like, I need you to rap for me. And so that's how we basically got it together. And then in seventh period, we came up with the chorus, and then we just had him write a verse about the Constitution, and we just pieced it all together and just, you know, just turned it into an eighth period and just was like, hey, here's the song. <laughs> and he won. Yeah, yeah. They came to me like right at the last minute. It was like only 10 minutes left in class when I wrote it. My founding fathers are the authors of this document. Amendments keep me free out of penitence. Doing sentences. Washington, Hamilton, Jefferson, Franklin got hundreds in my pocket. So you know I hang with it. I think a big way that we're gonna uh, take it back to our community is by showing people the youth our song. Music does change the world, and music influences people, and you they catch on fast the song, so yeah. The Constitution applies to like a lot of situations. I really thought that the Constitution was kind of like just the Bill of Rights, that that was like the main thing, but everything in the Constitution is like very important, and it applies to a lot of situations, even situations that we're facing in our society now. So it still has a big impact. A big thing that I learned when we spoke to Deneen, the government doesn't give us our rights. So that means that the government can't take it away. And that's a big, like, a big part of what we need to know. We're born with our rights. So if anyone thinks that they have the power to take it away, if you have knowledge, you don't have to confine to any ideas. You don't have to be afraid. Let me be me. Show you what your eyes can see. Working in the studio with Laurie was like a great experience. It, she gave us the opportunity to shine and uh, she made us feel important. Everything's very professional and how we could, you know, have such creative freedom with the song. And, yeah, and we got so much energy from when she recreated our beat. And it was like, dang, she really did that. We didn't think it was gonna be done. They're just making us feel important. Like she, like she took cared. the time to, yeah. And that's hard to find. It made us feel like, you know, we did something important 
for everybody, especially uh, how we would want to represent the Constitution and the way that we do music personally. So I just wanted to thank everybody that picked us and everybody that felt like we were a good fit to be winners. And the judges, Janine, had to everybody because it, this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for people like them trying to spread the message of the Constitution, giving our youth the knowledge it needs, you know, so they can be knowledgeable of their rights and their freedom. Giving youth a shield of knowledge because uh, doing this, this program itself, not just picking us, but the, doing the program itself, it'll help people. And it took for me to enter in this competition to realize that the Constitution is important. And I feel like it'll take for someone else to hear our songs and the other songs that were made for them to actually understand the true purpose of the Constitution and what it does for each individual person. Teamwork yeah, makes the dream work. work. <laughs> Give me a high five. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all those years ago. It's crazy. I was young, Lord. I was really young. <laughs> but, <laughs> I, I mean, uh, to see my growth, not only as a musician, but just like as a person, it's it's outstanding. And I can't accredit that to many things other than the fact that I was exposed to this through this program. So thank you for like the million time. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. It's just been a bright spot knowing you and and uh the, that song is so good too thank you um, and it's it, yeah it really is and, and i've seen you play the piano and i know that you're such a talent and uh, talk to us about uh you talked a little bit on the video about it but the, how how this came together i know that i was there for the first time <laughs> and i the classes were an hour and a half and so i did an hour and a half kind of Socratic speech with y'all. Really, you, all of you were so smart. And then uh, by the time I finished at the end of the day, you came in the room and you, the three of you said, we've written a song. So talk to us again a little bit about that and then about your experience of, of, of performing and going to Good Morning Texas and tra traveling and performing to DC. Well, yeah. Um, well, as, as we said in the video, it was just, I, I'm a singer, like at, at heart, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter. And that's just like what I, when I was very young, that's what I decided I wanted to die doing. And um, and everybody knew it, like everybody knows, like we know Kurt Taylor, he's just gonna sing for you and like whether or not you ask for it. So when Jonathan heard the speech, because I wasn't in Coach Mack's class, Coach Mack was the teacher, the history teacher that taught the class, but I just knew everybody at my school and I spoke to everyone just because I'm just a really talkative person. <laughs> but um, when, Coach Mack taught the class to Jonathan Frazier. Um, me and Jonathan were like really close friends and we were always talking about how we were gonna make music, but we never got around to doing it because we were like 13 and just like really unproductive. But he said, let's do this right now. Like if we don't do it right now, we know we're not gonna do it, so let's do it right now. So we sat down and we wrote and we were just brainstorming ideas. And Jonathan Frazier actually like mixes beats like for himself anyway. And he was doing this even when he was younger. So he had like a, a demo track and that's the one that we use to send in the the audition well the i guess audition i guess that's what you call it but yeah so yeah. we we wrote the song and that period we were like let's do it let's go take it to it right now because i was arguing with them i was like bro we don't know the song like we don't have it memorized let's like take our time like and not send it in yet but he was like no no let's do it right now so we did and we won yeah. And I remember yes, I that moment. I remember that moment, and I always will. It was at the end of the day, y'all walked in and said, we've written a song. I talk about it a lot, <laughs> you know. We've written a song. So good. And what was cool about the way what you did is, is there was this incorporation of the Socratic speech that I gave, going back and forth with the two of you. And y'all actually applied what I was talking about, about petitions and things of that nature. Um, and so it's very clever. The lyrics are very clever. And the, the beat, the, the whole song is, is really wonderful. Um, okay, so then you were on Good Morning Texas. You want to talk about that on the, on the stage? It's like a Good Morning America, but it's the Texas version. Well, yeah, um, we, I don't remember getting the email that said like, we want y'all to be on TV. And I was sitting with my mom and like, after I read it, I processed it and I wanted to act really cool. So I told my mom, I was like, yeah, mom, next week I'm gonna be on TV. 
just wanted to make sure you knew, you know, tried to say it with like a calm face and everything. But on the inside, we were like thrilled. Like Jonathan called me and he was like, bro, did you see the email? And I was like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Yes, it was the first time like I'd ever had like the exposure of like just being in front of people and like sharing like my passion and like my knowledge, just knowing like, because nobody really like, like I realized like, especially in like my community, the youth are not like aware of like the things that like we need to be aware about. And like people, pub like people publicize like all of the things that that the government do wrong, like that all the things that happen wrong in society and everything. But there are like systems in place that protect us as people, and like there are things that we're entitled to as people. And like to understand that was just like whoa, like I'm on TV sharing like who I am as a person and like my gift to the world and my knowledge, my newly received knowledge. So it was crazy. And then we even went like. I performed so many places through Constitute America and it's just like made me more comfortable like in front of crowds because as a performer and as a musician like that's exposure that I needed and I don't know when I would have gotten it so to get it at such a young age I performed in front of like 20,000 people in Tumball, Texas which is like insane and to this day it's like the largest crowd I've performed for live like it's it's insane and I think it's it's made me the person that I am because like now I'm comfortable talking to people. Like I don't really get nervous anymore. I don't think I know what stage fright is anymore. And I think it's just because you embody, like, you know, you embody such a, like such a role if you start at a young age and through Constitute America, I did do that. And now I'm here. I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs> oh, well, we are proud of you. And it's just been the greatest joy to get to know you and to to uh, go on this journey with you and that was one of the things we really wanted we really you know we we want to promote you and all the winners you know in in your career field um and you mirror that with your constitutional knowledge and you can you can take that with you so you're always taking that with you about the founding principles and how it really probably opens many doors and protects your career to begin with you know your, your ability to have free expression in whatever career field that might that may be you know the constitution protects that but to go on this journey with you has been so much fun and it'd go down as i said july 4th in tom tom ball texas for that performance and you know, the live performance i've just been y'all's cheerleader you know your cheerleader um and uh, and also the tennessee trip so briefly just in closing talk about your trip to tennessee i think you did already but uh, you re-recorded your song there. Well, you kind of talked about that, I guess, but if you want to add any, anything to that. But then you did go to D.C. and you had the, the private tour of uh, the West Wing and you were there and you performed at the Department of Education, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Got to go to D.C. too. Yes, ma'am. That was the first as well. Like everything through Constituting America has just been like a new like road step like for me. I had never been on a plane ever in my life. And then at 14 or 15 years old, they were like, we're gonna fly you to Nashville and you're gonna record with Laurie White. And she worked with Billy Ray Cyrus and like, what? Like, what, what do you mean? Like all the things that just like, all at once, it was just like, I wasn't, mentally, I didn't even know I was there yet. And Constituting America had the faith in me and like the, I don't know, the, the support in me to push me and, and the group of guys that I was with, because none of us had really been anywhere but Dallas, Texas. Like we'd been here all our lives and that's, we grew up together. And then to get put out in the world and making music, it just felt like while we're doing things productive and we're educating ourselves, like it was, it was surreal, insane. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just, it's just, thank you for staying with Constitution America and for being a part of the youth board and for for sharing your experiences with us today and i'm i was really special to hear about uh you know that that the turner marie scant junior exemplary scholarship award which i think is the <laughs> longest title for a scholarship ever it's pretty um, long. That, yeah, i know well you know i want to honor his entire name you know uh they call them tax at west point but, which is a lot shorter um but that, that that money from that scholarship helped your trip abroad in Spain. That's really cool to know. And so you had to leave early. How long were you there though? Tell us why you were there in closing here. Well, yes. Um, so my school offers a first year abroad program, which is um, instead of going to Boston, which is where my actual campus is, 
for the first year we could study in Valencia, Spain, which is a gorgeous city. And like, it was the time of my life, like amazing. I arrived there September 1st and I was supposed to leave in May, but I ended up leaving last Sunday. So now I'm back here because of Corona, but um, it's, I have no regrets, not one. I enjoyed every moment of it. I was an active performing musician out there. Like I had an actual fan base, which is insane because I'm just a nobody from Texas, you know? And, and to be put on a stage in front of people and like equipped and like mentally prepared and know how to speak to people and have a background of knowledge and want to be American because to be American in other places around the world is like, it's important and like you share a piece of your own culture and your heritage and your language. Like even meeting, I met a lot of people who weren't just Spanish. I met like Italian people and French people and just like they recognize the accent, they recognize how you dress and they recognize how you carry yourself. And I felt like it was a lot of pressure on me to just, you know, not disappoint like my people back home and the people who supported me. And it made me work my tail off and now I'm here and I'm, I, it feels good to be back home knowing that like I left an impression on the other side of the planet. Well, and when did you go? When did you arrive there? I got there September 1st of like last year. Oh yeah, okay, okay. So, you know, it's once you go abroad, it just it just changes you as a person, doesn't it? You, you really, I've filmed movies in China, communist China, and uh, <laughs> I've filmed another movie in Italy and France. And it just, once you spend a lot of time there, it, it, it enriches you and changes your perspective on life it the does. global aspect of the world and about what it means to be an american which you explained so beautifully and uh, and i just want to say you may have won the scholarship award but you have been an outstanding citizen an outstanding student you're brilliantly talented and so what you've accomplished you have done we we may have helped a little bit with the scholarship, you know, get get you over the, with the uh, augment to get you to, to over there to to help with Spain. But uh, and and your your talent with the song and your energy has just been a real treat for us at Constitution America to get to know you and to watch you grow up. And and we're we're just lucky to be a part of your life. And Thank we want to keep it that way. Thank we want to be able to say, all Thank the students that are here today. We can say we knew them when they're famous <laughs> now, but we. Then. what's your uh genre of music i do r&b music i actually plan on releasing an album okay. in august so that's the goal Ooh. yes all of my music so how is can now we find out about that? huh Ma what'd you say how can we how can we find out about your album when it's released okay so it will my name is kirk taylor and you can look me up anywhere and it'll be out I'm kind of postponed because of the Corona thing. All of my music is in hard drives in studios in Valencia. Wow. So at some point wow. my producer is gonna go back to Valencia, put it on his personal hard drive, and then we're gonna finish mixing it and release it. Our set date was July, but now we're like pushing it to August. And yeah. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to hear it. Do you play the piano in it? Yes, ma'am, I play most of the instruments live. Um, I play the bass, all the bass tracks are me playing live on a bass guitar. I play the drum tracks on MIDI, which is like a piano programming. And then I play all of my piano tracks live as well. Oh my goodness, and you sing as well. I cannot wait to hear it. I'll be first in line. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. First in line to hear it. Um, okay, well, it seems, um, okay, but you're, last thing, you're in Boston. Well, now I'm in Texas, but I'll be in Boston. My school yeah, is school, like all school. Yes, is it your school in Boston, though? Yes, ma'am. So are you going back to Boston when the pandemic's yes, over? Yes, September, I'll be in Boston. Okay, well, you know there's lots of history there. I know. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Don't forget to go do that, uh, all the wonderful historic in you know revolutionary constitution based history that's there because there's so much history in boston i love boston because that's where that's where it all began you know